Hi, my name is Ken Ludwig, and for the Shakespeare Challenge, I'll be reciting a passage from A Midsummer Night's Dream, and the character is Oberon. I thought I'd explain a little bit about the situation first to make the passage very clear. It's the moment in Act Two, Scene One, where Oberon and Titania, the king and queen of the fairies, have had this enormous titanic fight. They're fighting over a, a little a servant who gets uh, custody of the servant. And they get so angry, uh, Titania delivers an incredible speech. These are the forgeries of jealousy. She goes off and Oberon calls his servant Puck over and delivers a speech that begins, my gentle Puck, come hither. Let me explain a couple things about it and then I'll, I'll try to recite it without the book. Um, uh, he says, come over here. I heard a mermaid once uh, uh, when I was sitting on a promontory and uh, uh, Puck says, I remember, you'll hear his line. And then Oberon explains, that time I saw Cupid. When I heard that mermaid, I saw Cupid and he loosed a love shaft smartly from his bow. He, he, he uh, 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 took out his bow and shot and he apparently he missed the virgin, but the uh, arrow lands in the meadow and it hits a flower. And the flower was, per was milk white, but it turns purple when the shaft hits it. Uh, and, uh, and that flower has an unusual name. The flower is called love in idleness. What a great idea to call something a flower, love in idleness. And then he goes on to explain that the juice of that flower is magic and it's a magic potion. And if you put the juice of that potion on the eyes of a, of a living creature, when it's asleep, when it wakes up, the next thing it sees, the next live creature that it sees, he or she will fall in love with that creature. And he wants to do that to Titania and make her wake up and fall in love and couple with a monster. That's going to be his revenge because he's so angry at her. Okay, so I'm going to try the passage. But I have a, uh, uh, a, a Folger edition here in case I blow it. My gentle puck come hither. Thou rememberest since once I sat upon a promontory and heard a mermaid on a dolphin's back uttering such dulcet and harmonious breath that the rude sea grew civil at her song and certain stars shot madly from their spheres to hear the sea maid's music. I remember. That very time I saw, but thou couldst not, Cupid, all armed. A certain aim he took at a fair vestal throned by the west and loosed his love shaft smartly from his bow as it should pierce a hundred thousand hearts. Yet marked I where the bolt of Cupid fell. It fell upon a little western flower before milk white, now purple with love's wounds and maidens call it love in idleness. Fetch me that flower, the herb I showed thee once. The juice of it on sleeping eyelids laid will make, or man or woman, madly dote upon the next live creature that it sees. Fetch me this herb, and be thou here again, ere the leviathan can swim a league. And Puck says, I'll put a girdle round about the earth in forty minutes. Thanks. Stay safe, stay well. Bye.